How you start a Pilates for scoliosis program is through elongation and is not through strengthening or stabilization. That comes later. Yeah. So we start a lot of our sessions, or I start a lot of my sessions in clinic, getting my clients to do a form of elongation. Okay. This is what we call as the hanging series. And I'm going to show you this one through videos and through demonstration here, because obviously we don't have a CAD here to hang off. You can hang off a door if you're confident in your joinery and the people that put the doors up. Um, you can get, you know those like chin-up type bar things that you hook over the top of the door? Yeah, that's what I get a lot of my clients to have at home. Yeah. Um, you will see in a lot of the Schroth centers, they'll have the full wooden wall ladders, you know, sort of the old school gym, gym stuff. All right, the CAD works brilliantly. Okay, so you take your box from the reformer. Anyone here have equipment in their studios? A few of you? Yep. Okay, so if you don't have equipment, you just find another way to do it. Okay, you can even get literal hanging poles, which is basically a standalone. There's a um, base, a pole that comes up, and a hanging bar. And it just sits there. Okay, and you can hang on to it. I am going to show you four or five other ways to do elongation. So you don't have to do it this way. I'm just saying this is one, one option. It's an option I use quite a lot. So what's happening here is the client is basically standing on the box. They hold on to the uprights of the CAD. Okay? And then we say three, two, one. They step one leg forward. Then they step the other leg forward and they literally hang. Okay? I'm not asking for any muscle activation. I'm not asking them to do anything apart from just hang to try and get a lengthening very similar to the traction that we saw on that table. Yeah. Now, this isn't for everyone. Okay. So, for example, those hypermobile kids I spoke about earlier, this isn't for them because they're going to go and traction their shoulders, which isn't what I'm after. I want the spine to be tractioned, yeah? which is why we have lots of other options for you to look at. Yeah? But if they can, this is great because this is how they can start their program. You can be working with another client. They come in, they start their elongation before they even come to you. They walk in, they jump up on the box, they do a hang, and I'll show you in a moment, they then do a hang and glide. Yeah. And so we start using that time to get the elongation into the spine before we actually even start our program 